What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten if you're new here and I am so excited for today's video. I just got home um, just about an hour or two ago and I've been editing videos and just kind of getting my life together and it's about to be dinner time in about an hour. So I'm going to get started on making dinner and I'm whipping out my Instant Pot for the first time in a really long time. It's not cold outside. In fact, the heat index is like 104, so it's really hot, but I'm making soup because I've been craving chicken tortilla soup. Um, so anyways, I've got the recipe pulled up on my iPad. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. And also special thank you to Tesson for sponsoring today's video. I am going to show you guys something that has made my life so much easier in the kitchen, um, especially in a tiny kitchen. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all really quick. This is actually also a surge protector. So it can um, save your electronics with 180 joules, um, which I think is great because I don't really know much about how to make sure that my stuff is protected, but I know that Tesson has me covered, which is great. This little light right here means that you are grounded when it's green. This means that you're protected. So both of my things are grounded and protected. I've got my iPad plugged in for my recipe, which is really important to me to keep that technology safe. Also my espresso. This is my baby. I love this thing so much. I know that it's safe when it's plugged in. And there are also three USB outlets on the side here. So I think they're amazing. There's also an on and off switch, so if you decide that you want to turn it off, you can turn it off on the side. So when I turn it back on, grounded, protected. So thank you so much to Tesson for sending this to me. This has been great for my kitchen because I do not have that many um, outlets in my kitchen. I just have, I have four, I guess, but really two of them are over farther, so they're not really meant to be for the kitchen. So I am so excited because now that I have this, I can just plug my Instant Pot in there, I can plug my frother in there, my coffee machine, my iPad when it's dying, if I need to charge my phone, I can. Um, it's made my life a million times easier. So thank you so much to Tesson again for sending me this. I'll be sure to link it below. If you have a studio apartment like me, these are a game changer to be able to have enough space to plug your things in if you have a lot of electronics like I do, if you have a lot of different gazmos in your kitchen and stuff. So thank you, Tesson. So okay, so getting to the recipe, I'm using this one from Feasting at Home. I will link it down below and here are all the ingredients that I need and I already have them set out, but I need to dice my onion, garlics, garlic cloves. I just got granulated garlic because I did not feel like cutting it and I actually omitted the carrots and the celery because I didn't really want that. Everything else I was like, yes, so excited. Um, so I am so, so stoked for this um, because I have just been, I've been craving soup. I don't know why, I don't know what the reason is, but can't wait to eat it. So let's go ahead and make it. Okay, so I plugged in my Instant Pot um, and I'm gonna put it on the saute function. It's off right now and it needs to be on saute. Okay, so I'm gonna do that um, and add oil and then dump the onions in there. And if you are gonna use carrots and celery, go ahead and add them into the pot. I'm not doing that, so I'm just gonna add my onions and my oil into the pot right now. Let that saute for three to four minutes. So, I'm gonna use this guy. Um, and I also got these on Amazon, and I've had these for a while now. If you followed me, and they've held up great, they're only like 30 bucks for these silicone um, cooking utensils, and yeah, they're amazing. So, I'll link them below, and hopefully, they still have them because they're great. I got the this brand, but I'll link it below for you guys. Right, look at that steam, it smells so good. About to add in some garlic right now. I like a lot, so I'm probably gonna add in more than you're supposed to. But if you know me, this is how I cook. <laughs> okay, they've been sauteing now for quite some time. They smell great. Um, and this is where I'm gonna add in pretty much everything that goes with the recipe. So I have some diced green chilies. I got the fire roasted ones. Um, and I'm just gonna dump it in with the juices. And then also um, diced tomatoes. 
And also same with this, you're gonna dump it in with the juices. Um, and then it says to add in chicken thighs. I'm not gonna do that because I only have chicken tenderloin, so I'm gonna add in all of this chicken. Thighs I'm sure would be super good though. And then I'm adding in two cans of black beans. You can either, either use dried black beans or you can um, rinse and drain the black beans, but you do not wanna add in the juices from the black beans. Okay, and then you need two cups of water, which I already added in. Um, you need, where did my spices go? Cumin and oregano, you need chili powder too, which I don't have, so I am substituting um, cayenne pepper for that, for chili powder, so I'm just going to eyeball it. You're supposed to use two teaspoons. oregano and then also a little bit of salt and you're also supposed to use chicken stock or broth which I don't have but I know it's still gonna be delicious because you don't have to follow a recipe exactly especially when it comes to an instant pot so all right, and then now it says to um, give a good stir and send it to pressure cook on high. So um, I'm using canned black beans, which cuts down the time, so it says I only have to pressure cook it for 14 minutes. So that's awesome. I'm stirring it around. And I lost my lid. Oh, there it is. took me way longer than it should have to close it, but here we go. I'm gonna change it from saute to pressure cook. And, okay, let me cancel it. Click pressure cook, and I need to do it for 15 minutes on high, and it should start any second. Actually, it said 14 minutes, whoops. And it should start any second now. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's a little while later, and as you can hear, I am releasing the steam on the Instant Pot. I just edited two videos, <laughs> making a lot of noise, um, onto YouTube, and um, I uploaded one, and the other one will be up in about three days. I, Sorry, y'all, my card cut me off. Um, I am finishing now with that. So I uploaded a video of when I redid my dresser, um, and you guys probably would have already seen it by the time you see this video. Um, so it still looks good. Still have not added the legs on. They're still sitting next to it. That is on my to-do list of things to do. Um, but I still, I just love it so much. I think it makes the space look so much better and bigger. And I have loved that the reflection of the window, which you guys can see right here, when I'm sitting on the couch or in my bed watching TV, you don't see that reflection. So that has been a big game changer and like added bonus that I didn't even know. So anyways, um, the soup smells amazing. I'm so excited. I think it's done. Yeah, it's done steaming. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks good. It looks real good. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the chicken and shred it, but honestly, instead of shredding it um, within the pot like or taking it out of the pot and stuff i just mash it in there i know that's not really what you're supposed to do but 
that's what I do. And I also have been drinking this kombucha that like, I love kombucha and, hold on, let me go grab it. I love kombucha and I try to drink it at night because it takes away that like sweet tooth craving for me. Um, and this one is so good. It's passion fruit tangerine from Health Aid Kombucha. I am, I'm obsessed. It is so good. I usually only drink half of it and I think I'm going to drink the whole thing because I like it so much. So, um, anyways, all I do is just like mash up like this and then the chicken usually um, it's soft enough to just kind of shred on its own and then you don't have to take it out of the pan which we like delicious and not a lot of effort so that's what I'm doing I'm just gonna try to mash it up a little bit and then I am gonna serve this um, with um, sour cream and then I have tortilla strips I did not get um, any cheese for it so anywho this is already looking so stinking good how weird is it that I'm craving soup in the summer like this I don't know what is the I think it's called this is it gazpacho is that what the soup is called when it's like the summer like cold soup or whatever I've never had that but yeah this looks great let me show you so hopefully it doesn't steam up on the camera a whole lot so that you can't see, but that's what it looks like. And then a little sour cream, a little bit of tortilla. Perfect. And I am just going to eat on this for dinner this week. Super easy um, for me to just continue to eat the same meal over and over again because that is my life because it's only me. So um, yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so delicious. So if you guys can see, like me just stirring it breaks it up. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a hack if I'm like late to the game on that, but I always read in recipes that you have to take out the chicken. Oh, now it's steaming up. Put you back down over here. I always read in recipes that you have to take out the chicken to shred it, but like it just shreds on its own. So anyways, I'm gonna put some of this in a bowl with some sour cream and get to grab it. I almost forgot limes. So you're supposed to add juice from two limes and so I already cut these up earlier when I was prepping um, and it said to add in salt and lime if it's not flavorful enough for you. So I'm gonna do two limes for sure because I love limes um, and I'll probably honestly add in a little bit more of the chilies just because not chilies the um, paprika because I really like spiky spicy or no I used cayenne pepper that's what I used um, if it's not spicy enough because I love spicy food so I'm losing the sunlight it's only six o'clock and I feel like usually it's bright longer, but I guess we're starting to get into fall months, you guys. But it is so hot today. It's so hot that they canceled um, soccer tryouts after school because the heat index was gonna be so high. So it's crazy. I I don't know. I, I knew that it was gonna be different going back to school two weeks early, but I didn't um, think about how much hotter it is two weeks before September and the AC at my school is struggling to keep up like at least in my classroom my classroom used to be like freezing like I would wear a sweater into school because it was so cold and now it's like it's not like that I get hot and I sweat when I'm teaching so anyways I'm gonna dump this back in so we can get in with all that lime juice mix it up so good. All right. Perfect. Um, and I'm going to add some sour cream as well. The thing about a small kitchen is everything is right next to each other, so I just have to turn around. Um, where did I put it? Uh oh, oh there it is. I 
and my nut pods. Oh god, nut pods are just so good. I just, I love food. <laughs> love it so much. I just got the normal Good and Gather brand um, sour cream from Target because I did Target pickup the other day for groceries because I was so <sighs> exhausted on Sunday. Um, I did not want to go grocery shopping. In, I think I'm gonna add in like two big scoops of sour cream. Good. Pull it back on. best part about the instant pot is there's like very little dishes I'm gonna put this into another container and then I have to like wash the cutting board and just a couple utensils but not a lot of prep you know it makes it easy all right and then I also have tortilla chips that I'm gonna sprinkle on top I got those also for a salad so hopefully that tastes good um on top of your sour cream mixing it looks so funny This is so good, especially because, well, I don't know where to prom you, <laughs> sorry. Especially because I don't have as many of the ingredients um, as I would have liked to. I was missing a lot of the stuff that you were supposed to use in this recipe. I think I am gonna add in just a little bit more cayenne pepper to mine because I love spicy, so I'll mix it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is really good. I don't know, I guess I want it to be fall. I have not gone sweater shopping yet, but I'm getting into the soup. Mm. It's really good. It looks kinda gross because I mix the sour cream all in there, but I promise it's really good. And it's even better if you just like crush tortilla chips in there. I like dipping them though. Crunch them. Over top. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10, you guys. Alright, I'm gonna curl up and watch some TV for a little bit because it is 6 09 and I have been working since 7 10. So I'm tired. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna curl up for a little bit. And hopefully the laundry's open because I asked my landlord if I could use the washer and dryer. So fingers crossed that he's opened that up because I really need to do some laundry. Um, that's like the one downside of my apartment is I don't have a washer and dryer inside of the apartment, but it's okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Soup, you guys. So good. Definitely try this recipe. I'll link it down below.